What's up guys? I'm Miguel. And I'm Z. And we're here do the, doing another shoot. We shot a lot before, we're here to do it again. This time we're gonna do something a little bit more formal, right? Yeah. I asked if she wanted to shoot and she said yes. She had a cool pair of white boots. So that's kind of what kind of started this whole thing today. Um, again, we said formal. She had this really long blue or right, navy blue yeah, dress. it's like a dark navy blue. So navy blue skirt. skirt. I've been really liking the long pleated skirts look. So I really fell in love with that color. And then she had this really, I don't know, very nice. It's like very fun. It's a, a very, very fun, fun top. Very fun top. It has some print and it has a big puffy sleeves. And in order to accessorize this, we wanted to go with some gold accents here. As you can see, we put on some stack necklaces here. We also got some more stack bracelets. And then also, I think this is, we haven't done before the clips in the yeah, hair. Yeah, this is completely different. I just saw a video. There was one little Ray and she was wearing the clips. So I was like, I want to try that. So yeah. I went for it. So yeah. She's very Lana Del Rey inspired. I kind of like her vibe too. So that's kind of what we're going for. You got your, I feel like that's kind of your, your look. The red lipstick is also part of you. Yeah. That's something kind of. It's like a they, statement. It's like her statement thing. It's her staple. So we're going to go ahead and run with this. We're out here in this park here in, the, in Chicago. And we're just going to see what we got. Today I'm going to be shooting with my A6500. This is a 35 millimeter lens. And which is going to be just a regular portrait lens. But I also got another one here, which is my other go-to. This guy right here, the Sigma 16 millimeter. This is my wide lens. This is something that we're gonna try out. You know, get those really nice wide shots. It's gonna be a little bit more fun. Uh, distortion is gonna play into effect here, but I think it's gonna work out. We've done these before, but let's see what we get. Yeah. All right, let's go for it. All right, yeah, I'm editing this about three weeks later and I changed my mind. I'm just gonna do voiceover for the rest. All right, so right here, we're really just getting warmed up. She's getting comfortable with her poses and I'm just getting my compositions right. As you can see right here, I have her leaned up against this post and this is just a straight on portrait shot. So again, this is just us getting comfortable. All right, so for this next shot here, we are heading out into this crosswalk. And again, we really wanted to focus on showing off the main parts of the outfit, which in this case are the white boots and also the long pleated skirt. So in order to do that, we wanted to get some wide shots. I'm using the 16 millimeter lens um, the Sigma a6500 uh, which is really gonna make it look really tall and as you can see I'm getting really low one because she's really short she's only like about five feet and I am six feet so even just to get a straight on regular portrait I have to get down pretty low but for right here I'm really trying to get low this will just make her look even bigger and again that is gonna be emphasized by the skirt as well so as you can see right here we snap this nice shot even the buildings in the back really emphasize just her length. So for this next shot here, we're really just trying to focus on her facial expressions and she's just really trying to get a lot of attitude to be expressed through her face. So right here, I'm pretty close up and as you'll see in about a second, I'm really trying to go for a nice backlit shot. The sun is starting to set, so we're trying to take advantage and the sun is just beaming right there in the background. It's giving her a nice glow on her right side of her face so this is exactly what we wanted a nice golden hour photo shoot sticking in the same location this time i just want to get a lot of dimension in the photo as you can see we want to show off those white boots but also her posing and this one was just really great so there's a lot of dimension in this photo and just a lot of attitude coming from her facial expressions as well So now I see further down that there are some other areas that maybe we can try shooting in. And right here, we're going for another close up, but I'm really using her hand and those puffy sleeves as a foreground element. That's one of the reasons why I chose that shirt. And we're, again, we're using the backlit technique here with the sun and also just her posing is just really great in this photo. Now that I've done a couple of backlit shots, I wanna spin her around and have the sun shining on her to be a key light. And as you can see here, I've switched over to a different lens. I'm actually using my close-up lens. This is the Sony 35 millimeter lens. And again, I'm shooting with the Sony a6500. So it's kind of tight here. And here she's spinning around, giving me some motion shots. And here's the photo. As you can see, even the hair is in her face, but I think it's still very much a glamor shot. Next, I'm gonna switch it up by just taking a couple steps back and getting a little bit more of her body. It's about a three quarters. I got a couple different poses here and I like them both very much. 
Now I'm actually gonna get a little bit closer. As you can see, we're trying to go for more interesting poses now. This is something we were, that we're both kind of working on. Um, right here, as you can see, I'm using her sleeve as a foreground element, getting really close up to her. And as you'll see in the picture right here, just so much bokeh in the background, very, very blurry, and just really focusing on her face. This is something that, you know, maybe could be like in a makeup or some sort of more beauty form that I haven't done too much with her. Now we are keeping it moving again. You know, we're putting on our mask because we are in the city and we are still in a pandemic. So <laughs> we're trying to do the best we can out here. Um, this was a nice afternoon where there wasn't too, too many people here. So uh, we're keeping it moving, just trying to see what's around. And right here, I actually see this concrete barrier here, which reminded me of, of a video that I think it was uh, Jessica Kobesi where she was doing a shootout with a teenage photographer. So just in the moment, I thought, you know, we're all already here, we might as well try it. And uh, yeah, I forgot she has to take off her mask and <laughs> because that's not really part of the photo shoot, but um, just just really quickly, just, just to see what happens here. So I took a couple shots, but I think this one was my favorite of the bunch. This is right after crossing that street right there. As you can see, the sun is beaming. It is going right through the buildings. So again, this is golden hour. We don't have much time, but we're trying to take advantage of all the sunlight that we can get. And again, it's very orange, very warm, um, but it's also very nice and flattering. So as you can see here, we're going for those more creative poses here. She's trying to play with her hand positioning and maybe even a shadow. I'm trying not to create a shadow on her, which is very hard. Um, but I'm doing the best that I can. So here I'm just snapping away some shots. Um, there you go. This is more of a medium shot. I ended up really liking it. Again, that sunlight at this hour is very, very warm. Uh, but I think it really works out as well. Kind of like what we did before. This time I'm just spinning her around. So now that we got the sun as her key light, now I'm going to be using it as a backlight. So just another quick shot that we're doing in the moment. So now we're keeping it moving again and really we're just making a walk around the block and every single time I see a new spot or a new location that I think could work, I just quickly pause and say, hey, do you want to try this one out? And she's always game for anything. So here we see these very, very vibrant plants and I think could make a very colorful backdrop here. So uh, we're still using the sun here. It's really creating some dynamic shadows and we're trying to get some cool, interesting poses here. I'm again using the wide lens this time, but honestly right here, I'm really struggling. I'm trying different poses. I'm trying to flip her this way and that way. And I'm trying to get low just to really accentuate the whole outfit, but I'm just not getting anything that I really like. So actually she crouched down and this is actually when I got a shot that I actually did like here. So just kind of showing again, the very warm glow of the sun. And then next, she actually recommended to me because in front of her was a window and she got a really good idea for a photo shoot or from a different direction there. So I ended up getting down there and playing again with the, her hands as the foreground elements. And these just look really cool to me. Again, the plants are very vibrant. And then also she's just giving me a lot of really good attitude in this one, specifically the second shot here. Looks very mysterious, but also very glamorous at the same time. We're just keeping it moving as you can see the plants were up behind her and as i'm walking i'm always just looking as you can see my eyes i see this site right here and i think hey this could be a backdrop too so again just really quickly let's try it out here i'm still shooting with the wide angle lens here and i'm trying to use the street as maybe like leading lines but i got this shot right here and as the sun is going down it's just making some really good contrasty photos again very warm still and then the colors on the buildings are very blue, so it's just naturally creating that teal, orange, contrasty look. And as you were seeing right there, we're doing this pose where her hand is on the lens, and I think with a wide angle lens, it's very interesting. You can see all of her background as well as her. Now, just a few steps from where we were just shooting, there were these stairs, and I thought they would create some interesting lines or some leading lines to focus on her. And this time we wanted to go back to shooting her full body, or in this case, focusing on the boot, since we had been shooting a lot of close-ups in here. We see the boot is a very powerful foreground element, and her posing is just very, very good in this one as well. And this time I asked her to point it a little bit, 
and I think this is like maybe a more elegant version than the first one, but I think the first shot was very powerful as well. Now we've gone full circle here, ended up where we started, and we're gonna retry to do this one of the shots here. This time she's gonna be walking towards me, and I'm gonna be real low, getting this low angle shot, and she's gonna be kind of strutting down. She's holding out the skirt, and yeah, very, just very feminine, very playful, but again, her face always has a lot of attitude, uh, which is, I think is what we're both going for here. All right, guys, so thanks for checking out that little behind the scenes walkthrough video with me. If you guys like that type of thing, you know, any type of fashion photography or videography, I hope you subscribe or check out some of my other videos. Um, but yeah, if you like that kind of thing, leave a comment about what you might want to see in the future. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's it for now. Until next time, peace, guys.